This 4th of July, plenty of people will be feeling patriotic, including these kids in yachts who are adding red, white, and blue, along with a splash of everything else for good measure. Our summer program, we have a lot of kids who visit the grandparents and then come here for a week to get some fun kid things, too. The tie-dyed youngsters will be proudly wearing their shirts as they march in the 18th annual La Di Da Parade. It takes off from the community center at noon. Later in the afternoon, that segues into the duck race. And the first year they did this, I love this story, they forgot to see which way the tide was going and all the ducks went upriver instead of down. So we've got this chute system now that they go into and they funnel into a small channel and we can pick them out for the winners. The ducks are each numbered. They'll hit the water around 2.30 near the bridge on the south end of town. And we've got about 50 prizes this year and only 1,500 ducks, so pretty good chance of winning. Next, we'll head north on the Oregon Coast Highway to Newport, where if you don't mind the smell of fish, you can check out the Rock, White and Blue Music Festival. Uh, we've got seven bands, seven acts that are playing, five bands, one duo, one solo. Uh, the music is going to range from electric acoustic alternative to uh, classic rock to blues to folk. The first band will take the stage at 3 o'clock near Fish Peddler's Market on Southwest Bay Boulevard. Finally, it just wouldn't be the 4th of July if you didn't get to see some fireworks. And if you're in Newport, you can cap off the evening by taking in a dazzling show thanks to the fire department. Well, try to get there a little bit before. Give yourself an hour or two to, to give yourself plenty of time to set up and you know enjoy time with your family uh, so you're not rushing because we do, we do light them off right at 10. An Independence Day powder keg of activities that you can find all in a day's drive. I'm Joel Porter for News Source 16.